Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Mojo for Industry, The Game Changer. And today, we are joined by Mr. Jatin Mahajan, a game changer for healthcare industry. Mr. Jatin is the Managing Director of J Mitra and Company, India's leading IVD manufacturer. He has been at the helm of the company for the past 18 years and has steered the company to its present glory, that is a regional leader and exporter to over 40 countries. Drive for quality and excellence has resulted in J Mitra and company bagging more than 55 patents in the medical diagnostics industry and the title of India's patent king by none other than prestigious Wall Street Journal. Today, Mr. Jatin will discuss on how the IVD industry as well as his company is evolving with the times. Welcome Mr. Jatin. Mr. Jatin ji, under your leadership, J Mitra and company has become the leading IVD manufacturer in India. So what will be your next target? This business was founded by my father, Shri Lalit Mahajan ji. He is uh, basically a graduate from IIT Madras. So let me just walk you through the situation story uh, that we have gone through. So when he came out of IIT, he started the medical business and he saw that most of the medical products in India were imported. And uh, what challenges we saw was that the customers bought these products at a high cost and the quality was quite low. And at times these products were not even uh, performing as per the intended use. So this was a kind of a gap which my father had identified and uh, that's how the origin of the company came into effect. Now, what he did was that, you know, he made this company as a research-based company. So we are an R&D-led and an R&D-driven uh, company. The world is to, you know, make sure that most of the products addresses the four pillars on which uh, we make our decisions. The first thing is uh, quality. So quality should be of paramount importance. Second thing is uh, we are R&D driven and R&D led. So we do a lot of research as far as the R&D aspect is concerned. The third is our, our pursuit of customer focus. And the fourth one is innovation. We like to set the bar and raise the bar so that ultimately customers benefit, ultimately our patients benefit from these diagnostic tests. So these are basically some of the approaches, some of the strategies which have been inbuilt to ensure that the uh, benefit of the customer is there. So when I actually joined the business, most of the products that the company had actually launched, they were already the market leaders in its space. So my mandate was to basically introduce uh, systems into the, into the company, to fortify the existing uh, you know, market share of our existing products and deploy technology so that we can have a deeper uh, connect with the uh, customers and our patients. Because ultimately, the, the success uh, depends upon how, how much acceptance the customer has with regards to our range of products. The vision of the company uh, is to serve mankind and that can only happen uh, through uh, through serving the customers by ensuring that uh, they have a good quality of life, they have a better quality of life, and they live a long life. As you said that you know you, uh, you are uh, market leaders in few of the segments of IVD. Uh, could you be very specific about the segments where you were the market leader and what is your market share? Also, if you can just mention. At the same time, what will be your strategies to gain market more market share in Indian market as well as in global market? And the first line of defense against any diagnostic uh, disease is uh, basically these diagnostic tests. And uh, secondly, 70% of the clinician decisions are based on these diagnostic tests. So what is of paramount important is that the accuracy of these tests needs to be there. Now, uh, diagnostic tests are always evaluated in terms of sensitivity as, as, as well as uh, specificity. And what has happened in the past 20 years is that there has been a movement of sorts in terms of the uh, technology and the distance movement which has happened and which is uh, leading to the growth uh, in the diagnostic uh, industry. Now, having said that, in the current uh, budget also, the, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare have given us the allocation 
of around uh, 86,200 crores uh, towards this uh, healthcare space. And also there is an essential diagnostic list, which actually uh, you know, uh, promotes and uh, the diagnostic test uh, in the hinterlands also. So ultimately what is happening is that you know, in diagnostic test, uh, quality is uh, of paramount uh, essence. And uh, in fact, our QC uh, coupled with R&D backed uh, research, we introduce products in the market. And uh, our forte is also that we get these products evaluated from third party, both at national and international level uh, research in space institutions. And uh, you know these reports, uh, when we share it with the concerned customers, they build up a lot of trust and credibility among uh, them. The other thing that we do from time to time is, uh, you know, uh, we do uh, conduct uh, webinars or seminars among the audience so that they get more awareness about our range of products and whatever uh, concerns they have or whatever queries they have, we are very happy to address those queries during those webinars and seminars. As a result, uh, you know, when we have this kind of a deep connect, they buy our products because they have faith. And I'm happy to share that also at times what happens is that we have customers who have been our users since past uh, 20 years. So that is the confidence uh, level uh, which we have with respect to our customers. What I want to say is that uh, it's, uh, the innovations uh, is incorporated deeply into our DNA. How do you see from here, IBD industry is going to evolve? I believe that the perspective is going to be very positive. I have a very positive outlook towards the diagnostic industry because uh, it has given us uh, unique uh, opportunities. And, um, you know, the, as I mentioned earlier, the supply chain got impacted and the world is now looking at India as an alternative source of supplies for raw materials, be it the pharmaceuticals, be it the diagnostics. So it's a good time and India need to avail this opportunity to and cash cash it on on, on this opportunity so uh, also what has happened is that the healthcare companies was are generally working in the background and they are basically the ancillary companies so all this perception has changed and um, we are providing so healthcare companies are providing uh, you know human services uh, to to the people at large so all this has, uh, you know, the thinking has changed. Uh, people have ap appreciated the, the efforts and people have also recognized the efforts which have been put in by the healthcare uh, companies. Another realization has come in is to make India self-reliant. And what is the need of the RS to have, uh, you know, a lot of companies uh, to make the raw material for these diagnostic tests. And if that happens, we can be a net exporter, we can be the manufacturer of the world, be it pharmaceutical or be it the diagnostic range of uh, products. So this is very important. And then, you know, use of technology. I think the technology has, uh, has uh, been deployed to the maximum possible extent uh, during the pandemic times. And I think, you know, a lot of new technologies uh, will emerge as a result of this pandemic. So we will see new technologies, better technologies, which are now coming up in a big way uh, in next couple of years. Before we uh, conclude, Mr. Jatin, uh, uh, would you like to share about your commitment to the industry as a whole? I'm happy to share that we are the oldest diagnostic company operating uh, in India. And uh, we have uh, given products uh, to our customers and to our patients, which are uh, having uh, highest quality standards as quality performance and we have earned their trust and their credibility. We have maximum patents in our product portfolio. No other company uh, in India has uh, more than 55 patents in our portfolio. In fact, my father, uh, Mr. Lalit Mahajan, uh, has been recognized uh, in this uh, uh, sense and he's been hailed as the India's patent king uh, by the Wall Street Journal. Uh, of uh, New York. We have also tried uh, to you know, address uh, the customer requirements by following the 3A strategy, which is affordability, accessibility, and availability. Accessibility, when I say it means in terms of technology. So technology uh, is 
to be deployed, which is easy to use. Availability is basically to ensure that the products are available at every nook and corner of the country. And as far as the uh, affordability is concerned, being Indian company, we are conscious of the fact that India is definitely a price conscious uh, country. Uh, our customers are price conscious. So what we do is we price our products economically. The other thing that I would like to talk about is that, you know, we have huge production capacities. So when you have huge production capacities, it takes care of the economies of scale. And in turn, we are able to provide, uh, you know, uh, uh, affordable pricing uh, to our uh, uh, to our customers. Uh, we make presentations uh, to the government so that they also understand that diagnostics is the need of the hour. It's, it's, uh, it's an area of critical importance uh, for the people as well as for the country at large. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Jatin. Uh, we wish you that you continue serving the mankind the way you are doing it and you continue re reaching new heights um, every day. Wish you all the best for your future endeavors as well. Thank you so much. It was great talking to you, Mr. Jatin. And thank you very much, Mr. Shubhaji. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. Thank you. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.